will discuss about the chronic penny model of the band theory of solids. This model illustrates the behavior of electron in a periodic potential by assuming a relatively simple one-dimensional model of periodic potential as shown in this figure. The potential energy of an electron in a linear array of positive nuclei is assumed to have the form of a periodic array of square well with period of A plus B. At the bottom of the well, that is at the region x greater than 0 less than A, the electron is assumed to be in the vicinity of nucleus and the potential energy is taken as 0. Whereas outside the well, for x greater than minus b less than 0, the potential energy is assumed to be v0. Although this model employs a very crude approximation to the type of periodic potential existing inside the lattice. Yet it is very useful to illustrate various important features of the quantum behavior of the electrons in the periodic lattice. The wave function are obtained by the writing the Schrodinger equation for the two regions as this. Assuming that the energy capital E of the electron is less than V0, we define two real quantities alpha and beta as therefore these two equation becomes like this. Since the potential is periodic, the wave function must be of the form of the block function that is psi x equals to e to the power i k x u k x where u k x is the periodic function in x with periodicity of a plus b. From here we can calculate the value of d psi dx and then d2 psi dx2. Now substituting the equation in the previous week we get those equation like this where u1 and u2 represents the value of uk function of x in the interval x greater than 0 less than a and x greater than minus b less than 0 respectively. Now the general solution of this equation are u1 and u2 like this. where a, b, c, d are constants which can be determined from the following boundary condition. If you take some boundary condition, here we get the four boundary condition as this four equation. Applying these boundary conditions, these four boundary condition to equation, previous these two equation, we obtain the following four linear homogeneous equation like this and these equations are used to determine the constants a b c and d a non-zero solution of this equation exists only if the determinant of the coefficient of a b c d is vanishes on solving the determinant we obtain the following equation beta square plus alpha square by 2 beta alpha sine hyperbolic beta b sin alpha a plus cos hyperbolic beta b cos alpha a equals to cos k is a function of a plus b. To simplify this equation, Kronik and Penny considered that this in this case when v0 tends to infinity and b approaches to 0 but the product v0 b remains finite. And after some simplification and assumption, we get the final equation like this P sin alpha A by alpha A plus cos alpha A equals to cos K A, where P equals to A V naught B A by H cross A square, which is the measure of the area V naught B of the potential variable. Now if we plot p by alpha a sin alpha a plus cos alpha a 
versus alpha a using p equals to 3 pi by 2 then this graph like this the solid and the broken lines on the abscic correspond to allowed and forbidden energy regions respectively now the energy spectrum of the electron consists of the alternate regions of allowed energy bands and forbidden energy bands the width of the allowed energy bands increases with alpha a or the energy. The width of the particular allowed energy band decreases with increase in the value of P, that is the increase in the binding energy of the electrons. As periods to infinity, the allowed energy bands are compressed into energy levels and a line spectrum is resulted. So this is the derivation and the graph of the chronic penny model in the chapter band theory of solid.